All right, fourth graders, we are on lesson 4.5. The objective is I can use compatible numbers to estimate quotients. All right, kind of a flashback to compatible numbers. Let's remind ourselves what compatible numbers are. Please write this down. Compatible numbers, numbers that are easy to use mentally. Yay! All right, here we go. So, we're estimating again, right? So we're going to use compatible numbers to make it easy on ourselves because estimating should be easy. So, when you need to find one estimate, I'm going to change my color here real quick. Let's do green. Um, when you need to find one estimate, right, you look and try to find the basic fact. Well, 13 divided by 3, I know 3 does not go into 13 evenly. I'm going to think of a compatible number that's close to 13 that I know 3 can go into. Well, if I think about my multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, oh wait, 12 is really close to 13. So I'm going to use 12, right? But 12 isn't really close to 132. I'm going to change that last two into a zero. 120 is pretty close to 132, right? So then I'll just divide that by three. Oh my gosh, so much easier. Now the basic fact is 12 divided by three, which I know is four because four times three is 12. So my answer would be 40. Bring it over that zero. Let's look at another one. Okay. My basic fact would be 17 divided by 4, but eh, I know 17 isn't a multiple of 4. So if I think of my multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Ooh, 16 is really close to 17, so I'm going to change that to a compatible number. And then these guys turn into zeros, right? Much easier to estimate with this, right? I think of my basic fact now, 16 divided by 4 is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. So my answer would be 4. How many zeros to bring over? 2. 1, 2. There we go. That's how you find one estimate, right? You look for the basic fact. You try to find a number that your divisor will go into evenly, right, to make it easy on yourself. You change the rest of the numbers, or you change the rest of the digits in the number to zero. Let's try a couple more. Now, when it says what two estimates, right, or what is your quotient between, right, between what two estimates is your quotient, this is what you're going to do. So, finding two estimates. You still, it's the same basic process, right? You look for your basic fact. Well, I know 5 doesn't go into 13 evenly. So, what are some multiples of 5 that are close to 13? 5, 10, 15. Okay, so 10 is close to 13. Oops, why did I shrink that? 10 is close to 13. And 15 is even closer to 13. Now don't forget, how many zeros are you going to have, right? 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Now divide by 5. Those are much easier to divide by 5, right? Basic fact, 10 divided by 5 is 2, right? So two, how many zeros did I not use? These two, right? So between 200, and let's look over here, basic fact, 15 divided by five is three. So my quotient will be three, how many zeros? Two, one, two. So my quotient is between 200 and 300. Right? Let's try another one. I'm going to change my color. 
up here. Here we go. So, take a look. Basic fact. Yeah, I know 4 doesn't go into 38 evenly, right? Um, let me think of my multiples of 4. That's kind of close to it. Well, I know, let's see, 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 9 is 36. Hey, 36 is pretty close to 38. What's another one? Um, 4 times 10 is 40. Hey, that's also pretty close, right, to 38. So I got my two basic facts, right? My David N is right in the middle there. 38 is between 36 and 40. How many zeros? Just one this time. Now I have my compatible numbers, and I'm ready to divide. Basic fact, 36 divided by 4. I know 9 times 4 is 36, so that's done. 9, how many zeros to bring over? Just one. So between 90, and let's check over here, basic fact, 4 divided by 4, well, 4 times 1 is 4, right? So 1, how many zeros? 1, 2. So my quotient would be between, you can write this on the next line, I just don't have another one, between 90 and 100. All right, time for practice problems. Another kind of shorter video tonight. Feel free to rewatch if you need some more practice. Two word problems. A CD store, store sold 3,467 CDs in seven days. About the same number of CDs were sold each day. About how many CDs did the store sell each day? All right. And the second one, Marcus has 731 books. He puts about the same number of books on each of nine shelves in his bookcase. About how many books are on each shelf? All right, friends. Have a great night.